Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Um, today I'm actually going to explain how we do our H braces. Okay, um, Those are solid fiberglass rods. Uh, we have a two and a half, three inch foam field that work the same way. Basically what you do is you drive that the vertical post there. Those are driven in the ground uh, four to five feet. And uh, so you drive your two vertical ones then you take your horizontal which is this one and you drill a hole in the end of it about a oh, inch deep and then you you drill another hole in, in your uh, vertical member an inch deep so you got an inch here and an inch in there and then you put a piece of steel all thread quarter inch in there and as you pull your angle brace which is down here it's, it's hooked on the bottom there it's coming up there it is there's your tensioner it goes up to the top okay i'm pulling the direction that that wire is going so you always come to the bottom of your post on the direction that you're pulling the opposite direction you're going that way so always fasten on the bottom that gives you your best anchor and anywhere that brace wire passes one of your hot wires you've got to put a piece of insole tube on there insole tube you can buy that from power flex fence um, I like Pyroflex because they carry the best of everything. Yeah, they they kind of cherry pick it. They, they pick out the very best product and that's what they sell. So it's easy to go to Pyroflex and get what you need because you know you're going to get the best. Okay, so you get your tail, that, that's your uh, insole tube. And to hold that insole tube in place, now I'm not going to touch that. There's 10,000 volts in there. But see that? There's a C23 crimp on each side of that insole tube. That keeps that tube from sliding on your fence. If you don't put that insole tube on there, that wire is going to pop, okay? It could touch that other wire, and you're going to have an arc developed there. So um, this is a five-wire perimeter fence. This is good for sheep, goats, pigs, cows. There's five of them. They're all, that's 12 gauge, 180,000 PSI, okay? When you put five wires on there, you come around your post. You just wrap it here on the ends. That's what we do. And then we put our... That's called the hangman's noose knot. We just wrap it. That saves a crimp, okay? And then it's tied on right there to, see there's a wire going back to the gate over there. Each one of those is tied on, see that? It's got a crimp there. So when you get to your corners, you just crimp each respective corner to the other wire and that continues your power on around the farm. I love these posts because you know what? You can put that corner H brace in, and about the time it talks, tells the tale about it. You don't have to dig a big old hole. You just drive them in, and we got a hand driver. We drive ours. You can use a tractor, skid loader, whatever. Just push them in the ground, and uh, put your tensioner on there. And guess what? You got an H brace. You're ready to build a fence. Uh, fencing can be hard work, but if you ever build a fence out of this stuff, high tensile wire and fiberglass posts, you'll never go back to hard barbed wire or woven wire. Folks, this is Greg Judy signing off, and everyone have a great day, and spring is coming.